UK Sports and the PGA Tour are delighted to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Waste Management Phoenix Open is about to kick off. Delighted you're able to join us for this first round action. Luke, I'll be back in the booth with my boy Rich Beam and Beamer. We're at the place which has the famed stadium hall. We're at TPC Scottsdale and, well, it's the loudest showing golf, isn't it? It's the greatest show on grass, there's no doubt. When players are at this course, the course kind of speaks for itself. It's pretty much right in front of you. There's a couple of tricky shots here and there, a couple of really tough holes. Number seven and eight back to back come to mind. A few stretches there is difficult, but the difficult thing about playing here is the distractions, the crowds, the enormity of them, the yelling, the screaming. It's endless. And in order to play this golf course effectively, you almost need to put in earplugs because you need to focus on what you're doing, but the distractions are out there every hole, all day long. What's it like to step foot in the stadium hall? It's incredible. You feel like everybody is standing right on top of you, and the last thing you want to do is hear the boos. And so you really focus in on hitting the green to hear the cheers, and they're going to cheer for you when you do something good, but they're going to let you have it if you do something bad. It can be a very stressful place to play if you're not accustomed to that, but you could also have a lot of fun with it if you like to go down that road. It's all set up to be a beauty. Let's see how it unfolds. Oh, almost went in. That's tidy. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. Starting the round at even par. The second hole at TPC Scottsdale is a mid-range par four, playing 442 yards from the tips. The bunkers on the right side need to be avoided, which leaves a good mid to short iron approach to a green that is bunkered front, left and right. So a good accurate approach required. This one might roll into the rough. John's down on the course, and do you have a better look at this lie? Yeah, they're in the sand, and it's sitting up pretty good in this sand. Pretty good lie. And here we are with the third shot. <laughs> Par putt coming up here. Nice looking line. I like their courage to be able to get that to go down and save the hole. Yeah, in the bunker, off the tee, great recovery. John, give us a small update. Well, I'm down here on the seventh, and this is a look at Gary Woodland's next shot. Setting up to play the shot here from the green side rough. Boy, Rich, that was a big-time save, that one. And that will move him up the leaderboard as well. And with that hole behind us, let's have a look at the contenders and the pretenders. The third here at Scottsdale plays over 550 yards from the tips. It's a strong par five, which requires two big shots to get to the green. The first shot needs to avoid that bunker on the left-hand side to give you a chance to go for the green. But if you're laying up, it's laying it back to a number between those two bunkers that sit on the left side of this fairway around 150 to 100 yards out. 
Well, Rich, I feel like this is a bit of a rhetorical question, but what's your favorite part of the waste management Phoenix Open? All of it. There's not a single thing that I don't love about it. I find it, since I first started coming here in 1999, to be an absolute, I don't want to say circus, because that's not the right word, but this is a social gathering. I once saw a guy, Luke, walking around in a jumpsuit made of pennies. Made of pennies, and I didn't know if it was chain mail or what. But in 1999, I saw this guy and thought, you know what? This tournament's a little different than the rest. As we've seen throughout the years, that's exactly what it's turned into. I mean, this is just a massive social gathering in Scottsdale. The players embrace it. They love it. They get it. They get into it by throwing stuff in the crowd on 16, wearing jerseys, dressing up, getting into the action, getting into the fun, if you will. It's, it's unlike any other golf tournament in the world and should be. This is a special event in a special place. The stadium hole gets a lot of the focus. Over 500,000 fans through the gates through the course of the week. But for all the partying, all the fun and frivolity that takes place, there's a fair bit of serious work that gets down to at the end, isn't there? Well, they, they're playing for a lot of money, a lot of FedEx come points, as we know. But listen, these guys are out there to compete and win. But they don't lose the, the one atmospheric part about it, and that is everybody is out there to be entertained. And that's what they're trying to do, entertain them. Make a lot of birdies if you can, because that's what it takes. you got to make birdies to win this tournament. Whether this week is going to be delicious, go get them. Let's head over to the fifth. From 140 yards out. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Oh, this one's right down the pipe. Oh, that one's absolutely stiff. Terrific approach and a chance for a birdie here on the fifth. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a stud. Now, this one's from downtown. Make sure you get the pace right. Frustrating. Just a four footer remaining. Good looking putt. And in it goes for the par. Got to say, putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence booster. Now, three strokes back after that hole. The fifth hole at TPC Scottsdale is a strong par four, playing 470 yards from the back tees. There's a big bunker down the right-hand side that'll catch any drive not hit with authority. The approach must be accurate with the bunker on the left-hand side. Anything just slightly missed here will be punished. John, what's going on? Talk to us, Goose. Well, I'm down on the 10th hole. This is a look at Gary Woodland. A lovely shot into a few feet. Okay, let's get back to the action. From around 140 yards here, just three back from the leader. Going with the nine iron, I think. Yeah, that one's looking good. Left yourself an opportunity. spot the all-important top five coming up if you can hold this get excited this could go in Ooh. pretty straightforward four footer coming up here
Ooh, that looks like a pure stroke. Got to say, putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence booster. Tommy Fleetwood is atop the leaderboard with a one-stroke lead. The sixth hole at TPC Scottsdale is a solid mid-range par four, 432 off the back tees. And again, it's more position off the tee that's required here with the bunkers on the left-hand side. A bold player is to fly it over that bunker on the left and leave just a short wedge in. Bold players will get off this hole, but a safe strategy lays back before them. Well, I like the look of the line here. This should find the fairway. Time for the second shot here at the sixth. Nice shot that, that should find the surface. Oh, that's great, it just missed the hole. Well, oh, that's beautifully judged. What an opportunity to make a birdie. That starts off on a good line. Fair effort that, good birdie. And he dances his way to the top 10 after that delightful shot. Currently at three under for the event. And after that good play, moving up the leaderboard. The seventh here at Scottsdale is a par three measuring 215 yards from the back tees. A straightaway hole, but bunkers left and right of this green ensure that a nice straight shot is required. That approach didn't seem to fit their eye. Yeah, it took a bit too much club on that one. This shot now being played from the fairway bunker. <laughs> Quality shot that one. This would be a great up and down from this spot. Oh, I like the look of that shot there, Beamer. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. He has this putt to save his par. And down it goes. He's currently in a share of sixth. hole at TPC Scottsdale is a very strong par four playing over 475 yards from the back tee there's a couple of pot bunkers down the left hand side that need to be avoided so you can get to the green in two if you're going hard here there's a tree on the right hand side that can prevent a good second shot or a line to the green two well struck shots required to get to this green and even then your par's not secure Sitting at minus three, currently tied for sixth.
A great shot here at the eighth and a chance for birdie. Make this and you'll move into a tie for third place. Good stroke. Yeah, nothing to sweat over that one. Well hold. And that will take him to four under. He's currently tied for third. Gotta like it. Moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. The finishing hole on the front nine at TPC Scottsdale is a par four, measuring 453 yards from the back tees. There's plenty of room off the tee to the left, just so you can avoid that bunker on the right. There's a bunker short of the green here that needs to be avoided, a short little pot bunker. But two solid shots here will allow a chance for a birdie. This should find the short grass. Second shot here on the ninth. Opting for the four iron here. Well, a little off the target with that one. And coming up well short. Let's have a look at Matt Gucci's shot. Getting ready to play their third. And that shot goes down, and that will be for birdie. Check out this little beauty. Nice touch. Yes, sir. Gets it to go. Thank you. Let's get back to it, shall we? And here we are with the third shot. Only one shot off the pace. Second spot on the leaderboard, or at least a share of it, if we can hold this. It's got a chance. That's a good putt for par. You'll take it. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead.
10 for TPC Scottsdale is a short par four, measuring just 428 yards from the tips. There's a huge bunker down the right side of this fairway, which suggests maybe less than driver is necessary off the tee. What you want to do is set up for a good angle of approach, though. And there's a couple of pot bunkers to the short right of this green and a big one to the front left to be avoided. No harm, no foul there with that shot. Going with the pitching wedge here. That's well played, pin high. That's the mark of a ball striker. We've already had a few birdies today. This for another. Time for the second shot at the 10th. Here's Matt Kuchar's shot. Oh, Rich, how good is that? Step aside, gents. This man's marching into the top five. And back to the course with the live action. And this putt will take them to five under. Good stuff today, especially the short game has been really sharp today. Oh, just missed. This is a par putt. In she goes. Let's head to the next. Tommy Fleetwood, our leader in this one. The 11th is a par four, playing 472 yards and a huge water hazard down the left-hand side. The best line is a drive as close to that water without taking it on. Anything that leaves about 150 to 170 yards in will give you a chance to set up birdie. Oh, that was pure. Let's go to our man John on the ground. There's something brewing down there. Let's find out what it is. Coming down here on the 16th hole, this is a look at Gary Woodland. Oh, stop it. What a way to make your par. A little punch shot here. Oh, yes. What a result. Fantastically played. Water becomes a real feature here in the final nine holes of TPC Scottsdale. Here we are exposed to it at 11. Second shot at 11 is very difficult water hugging the left-hand side. The bunker fronting the green is no fun. The one in the back part of the green is no fun. Anything out to the right is just fine. It's fair to say that wasn't their best shot. Air mailed the green with that approach. This would be a great up and down. Great touch. Really nicely played. You better believe it is great stuff to watch. Trailing by a few shots after that hole. The 12th of TPC Scottsdale is a par three measuring 192 yards off the back tees. Not much to this hole except the bunkers left are to be avoided. Although water can sneak in on the right up near the green if anything is slightly pushed. Looks to be going with the four iron. Outstanding approach shot. He's already made a few birdies today, and this is another good look. Go on, get in the hole. Yeah, nice mid-range birdie putt, that one. And with that, he'll move to five under par. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard. The 
the 13th is one of the good scoring holes in the closing nine at TPC Scottsdale. It's a par five measuring 558 yards. Job one is to avoid that huge water hazard to the right or the tree on the left-hand side that juts out into the fairway. If you're clear, you'll have a chance to knock it up near towards the green or just laying it back to a comfortable yardage of around 100, 125 yards. A chance for Birdie here to really ignite your charge. Yep, that'll work. That's fine. Ooh, staying aggressive. Going for the green. Getting ready to play their third. One stroke off the lead. So much easier when you roll like that, isn't it? Judging it beautifully. Just three feet to the cup. Nice one. Fourth birdie of the day. Gotta like it. Two in a row. Currently six under for the round. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. The 14th is a strong par four, almost measuring 500 yards from the back tees. The bunker that sits in the fairway should be covered. Anything around 190 to 200 yards out will give you a green light to go for this flag, although a four here never hurts. That's some good golf right there. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. This one is headed to the right. That was never really a comfortable shot for them, was it? A bit short with that effort. Sitting at six under in a share of the lead. How close was that to going in the hole? Great shot. Nicely done. This putt is of nine feet. Okay, steady now. Bogey putt coming up here. Oh, nice looking putt. Well, that'll avoid a number of drop shots. Well hold. John, give us an update. What's shaking? Well, I'm down on the 15th as Sergio Garcia sets up his next shot. Time for the fifth shot. Big time play that one at the right time too. Needed it. Needed that in a big way, chipping in for the par. So with another hole behind us, let's take a look at the leaderboard. The 15th is a very important hole, the par five, 553 yards from the back tees. Either makes or breaks around here at TPC Scottsdale. That huge penalty area to the left is to be avoided if you're to make a decent score. A good drive will allow you to go for this island green in two. Although if you're too far back, no point taking it on as there's water everywhere to collect your ball. Laying up to the 115, 20 yard marker will give you just an easy wedge here and a chance to still make your birdie. They're in the bunker, looking for an up and down here. Let's have a look at Matt Cooch's shot. Oh, that's a beauty. Great shot from the bunker. Okay, let's get back to the action. Second shot here on the 15. Sitting at five under for the day. Currently tied for fourth place.
That's a great shot here at the 15th. It sets up a look for birdie. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. And with that putt, he's bounced back immediately from his previous drop shot. And that will move him to six under par. And stepping up the standings after that effort. Welcome to the jungle, or as they call it here at TPC Scottsdale, the stadium hole par 316. It's just a short club, but you miss the green and a chorus of boos will ring out. Going with the six iron here. Any bounce to the left here would be helpful. Yeah, not a bad shot, that one. Made birdie on the last. Looking for a second in a row here. Didn't quite hit it, did you? Sometimes when you try and get it up the hill, you just forget to hit it sometimes, and it seems so in this case. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. Time to take a look at the action at the 17th hole. this out holding it out from the fairway that away great shot and Tommy Fleetwood heads the field and after that effort this is how the field is shaping up the penultimate hole at TPC Scottsdale is an absolute beauty do you go for it or lay up a drive here that's just slightly pulled will find the hazard to the left but if you're short right, a chance to get up and down for your birdie and really push for the title. Now this one looks to be heading down the runway. Birdie putt here. If it's up, it could be in. Mark it down. That's six birdies today. And with that, he'll move to seven under. Incredible. Nicely played. Moving on up the leaderboard now after that hole. The finishing hole at TPC Scottsdale requires a great drive. The big water has it down the left-hand side and the church pew bunkers make it a very difficult drive. Anything out to those bunkers on the right will leave a good angle approach. But once you hit this shot, make sure you get the right area on the green if you're to make your birdie. the effort that one the approach into the final green at tpc scottsdale is usually with a little bit of relief rich because the water's behind you luke the second shot at the 18th is fairly straightforward but how confident are you feeling with 50,000 sets of eyes focused on you well take notes folks that's how you do it this one here, this is for back-to-back -back birdies, moving him in the right direction. Chance to move to eight under here. It's on a great line. And that signs off on today's round.
as this round comes to a close, he finds himself in a share of top spot. Absolutely, Luke. Can't wait to do it again tomorrow. Well, that'll just about do it. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Elvey. Thanks for tuning in. Look forward to your company next time. UK Sports and the PGA Tour proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. We're at the Waste Management Phoenix Open. Today's coverage is about to begin. Delighted to have your company for this final round action. Luke Elby and Rich Beam here bringing you all the action of the final round. And Rich, I love these days. Championships are decided. Has this player got it in them to pull out the win? Luke, currently in second place, heading to the final round. Not a bad place to be, but let's face it, these guys aren't playing for second place, are they? They've got their eye on the prize. They want to finish number one, so they're going to have to have a good final round to make that happen. Big day coming up. Can't wait to see how it unfolds, Rich. This should be an absolute beauty. And let's see what he can do here today. Wonderfully played. Isn't this where they hit from yesterday? Yes, and let's hope it's not a similar result as yesterday. like they're going with the pitching wedge oh this is on a fantastic line is it the right distance well that'll be one of the shots of the day that's for sure that's a good looking shot there four feet to the cup oh nice line oh what a way to build momentum early and always a good feeling to have early in the round well that's a lovely way to get going They've already started this event under par. Can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first, Luke. Good start. You've arrived at a par four. Step up to the tee and own it. Luke, coming off a birdie at the last hole, this player finally is making something happen. Looking forward to the next hole, but danger lurks if they're not careful. Nicely done. Time for the second shot here on the second hole. <laughs> Choosing the nine iron here. Well, this one's right at the pin. Oh, that's a great shot. It sets up a wonderful birdie look here at the second. Hang on, this looks pretty handy. Well, nicely done. Holds the putt for back-to-back -back birdies. I like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. And after that hole, he's now alone at the top of the leaderboard. Oh, and they increase their lead. This is impressive, Luke, but can they hold up this play? Here we are at the third. The tee is yours.
That's heading for the fairway. It's time to recap Sergio Garcia's effort from just a short time ago. This is his third. Well, that was a beauty. Right out of the top draw. Nicely played. Second shot here on the third. This is a good risk reward hole. Looks like they're taking plenty of risk here. Going for the green. Well, this person displays the power game in pure fashion there. Using all of his muscles to get that one home in two. Oh, well, this is exciting. A putt for an eagle. So close. This one's for Birdie. Look at him just surging ahead at the top of the leaderboard. Oh, that settles the nerves right there. Great stuff. He's currently sitting in first place. T is yours. Here we are at the fourth hole. Going okay, with the four iron here. Not bad. Well, this is one of those lengthy putts. John, how do you see it? Looks like about 22 feet to the hole. Oh, this looks pure. That was a gallant attempt. And they'll walk away with a par on this one. Now two shots up after that one. Here we are at the fifth hole. The tee is yours. <laughs> Looks like they put a good swing on that one. That should find the short stuff. This spot looks awfully familiar. Didn't they play here yesterday? They had a good result yesterday. Can't see why they wouldn't have another good one today. This one could take a little bounce to the left. Great ball striking. It's a thing of beauty. The iron play today has been absolutely stellar. Luke, the greens and regulation, just a fantastic accomplishment. Great to watch. And here we are with the third shot.
100 feet left to the hole. This one's tracking. You can mark it down. That's birdie number four today. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. I'm pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. This looks to be a fairway seeker to me. And now we go to the eighth. And this happened just a moment ago. Third shot now. High quality shot by Sergio Garcia. Let's get back to it, shall we? And choosing the eight iron here. Well, that's well judged. Hole high, right inside the range. Birdie at the last. This for another. This one's looking good. Ouch, that hurts. And this putt coming up for his par. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. And after that hole, you've built a one-stroke advantage over Tommy Fleetwood. Teeing off here at the seventh. <laughs> Opting for the hybrid, I think. Oh, what a shot. You'll take that. But not a bad approach. He'll be putting. Well, this will be a bonus. Right on 17 feet from here. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. And this one is for his par. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. And now teeing off on this par four hole. looking shot this second shot here on the eighth opting for the four iron here attention folks that's how you play golf this putt coming up is for birdie just remember to get that nice rhythm in your stroke well I think they fell in love with the line forgot about the pace 
Job done. Let's head to the next. And after that hole, leading Tommy Fleetwood by a stroke. This hole here is a par four. Well, I could watch that swing all day. That's beautiful. Lining up from around 160 yards. Opting for the six iron. well played and a chance for birdie here at the ninth 11 feet to the cup it's tracking and racking up their fifth birdie of the day lovely position for our leader here rich out in front but a few holes to go yeah but i i like the position i like being out in front it forces the other players to come catch you. I like their position. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a par four. <laughs> Left nothing in the tank on that one. That was pummeled. <laughs> Second shot here on the tenth hole. Chosen the pitching wedge here. Well, that's comfortably on the dance floor. Well played. Oh, that one just missed the hole. Beautiful. Oh, you love to see those shots land. What a play. That's the spirit. Well played. Just go ahead and tap this in for birdie. Let's take a look at the leaderboard as it stands. Two in a row there, Luke. Getting their groove on. Leading by a couple after that hole. Time to step on your tee shot here at this long par four. a boy good shot second shot here on the 11th opting for the five iron oh, oh that's incredible it's in the hole can you believe this this is right out of fantasy land. Holding out from that distance. What a shot. leader is a couple of shots up at this stage well there's some real momentum with this player coming off an eagle at the last
Yeah, not a bad effort, that one. Up onto the green and a chance to hold your putt. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. Short game has been absolutely fantastic today. He's on a good line. And that should secure the par. Well done. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. And our intrepid on course reporter, John, standing by. Well, guys, I'm down here on the 14th. And this is Sergio Garcia. Oh, my goodness. You're kidding me. Did he hold that? Oh, and up he goes, marching to the top of the leaderboard. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks. And after that hole, leading Tommy Fleetwood by a couple. Teeing off here on the 13th hole. Oh, seems to have got a big piece of that one, striped. He may be thinking about going for the green here. Well, that's a tremendous shot and sets up a wonderful opportunity. Two big hits there, knocking it on this par five and two. Oh, you set yourself up with an eagle opportunity. Oh, that's frustrating. This putt's about four feet from the hole. It's got a chance. A oh, well hold, he'll take the birdie. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. Good drive. That one should find the fairway. Let's head over to the 17th. Getting ready to play their third. down well, that's an impressive little chip gotta say his short game is phenomenal going with the hybrid Now that looked pretty good the whole way. There's a long way, but I tell you what, I've seen it happen before, so there's a chance. Get in. Just didn't drop. Opportunity to make their par. And that puddle drop. Well done. 
our leader is currently enjoying a four stroke advantage. Here we have a par five. That one's heading down Broadway. Time for the second shot at the 15. Mm, looks like they're going for the green. Good aggressive play here. Well, that's showcasing their power there, Rich. Always like the aggressive play, going for it in two and getting rewarded for it. This putt about 11 feet in distance. Tracking. Oh, super putt that. What an eagle. The nice feeling it must be to have that sizable of a lead coming down the stretch. No movement up or down on the leaderboard for this player. Three holes remaining. This is what it's all about. Time to see who is going to get it done. Just a few holes to play. Let's see how you handle the 16th hole. Going with the eight iron here. This one needs to kick left. And this will give reason for the crowd to go absolutely bonkers here. And here we are with the third shot. Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? Lovely touch. Well played. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. Just 10 feet to the cup here. This one's dialed in. Well, you're gonna be hard to catch now if you keep making putts like that. And now that finds him in first place. Two holes to go, Luke. I know who I like. And after a birdie at the last, we'll take the honor on the hole. If you're going to take out a driver, be mindful. The fairway does canter from right to left, so the golf ball could kick in that water hazard. Bailing out to the right, there's no shame in that. You always have an opportunity to get it up and down for the birdie. Well played, mate. Time for the second shot at the 17th. Oh, that was fantastic. What a shot from the lead. And down it goes. So that's back-to-back -back birdies. I like it. Two in a row. Still in the lead now after that hole. And a chance to ice the tournament here. Holding the lead, playing the last. He's been putting on a clinic all day. Another beauty by our leader. Well, that was absolutely met. Great strike. Looks like a similar approach to yesterday. Same spot as yesterday. Will they have the same results today? Well, that certainly makes putty a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. All right, let's keep the focus here. This is to win the event. It's half a chance of being hold, this one. 
Well, that's a great tournament to win. The Waste Management Phoenix Open, Rich, and all on Super Bowl Sunday. All the fans this week have been out there supportive of the tournament. They've been out here in record numbers. And the champion, well, they finally get to enjoy the festivities as well. Great play this week. Great win. Well, Rich, after that hot start, it's probably a little surprise that this player powered through to victory. This player absolutely dominated all week long, all tournament long. Great job. You don't see this happen very often. Well, on behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hardworking folks at HB Studios, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.